Welcome to LDSBookReviews.com. My name is Ryan Daly, and today we are reviewing An Insider's View of Mormon Origins by Grant H. Palmer by Signature Books. I actually love Signature Books. Uh, I really appreciate their contribution in Mormon thought and their publication history. I picked this up because I've, I've wanted, I've been interested. I picked it up, I think, from a thrift store. I've seen it a couple times. It intrigued me. I value Signature Books. I'm just going to tell everyone right here, this is a one-star book, zero-star book. Do not read it. It is a terrible, terrible book. Uh, I am not, I, I, I'm going to have it on my shelf because I can't get rid of books. I just love books. But this is by far the most deceptive book on Mormon thought and Mormon history that I have ever, ever, ever read. Ever read. Mr. Palmer, come on. Terrible. And and the objective here is an insider's view of Mormonism, right? So it gives this idea that he's he's an insider and he has all this truth. And even in his bio, he was a part of, he's a CS teacher for I think for a number of decades, probably a CES director. And so again, it kind of reaffirms like, oh, I know my stuff, right? But as you read through the text of the book, all it is is nearly every single anti-Mormon thought with absolutely no resolution. He does absolutely nothing to resolve the issue. And I've never been so mad reading a book that purports itself to be something and say, oh, not only is it an insider's view, it's coming from someone who knows a lot and yet has mm -hmm. absolutely no ability or context to the rest of what he's saying. It's the most frustrating read I have ever had, right? Because what will happen is he's going to tee up an issue and then he's just going to walk away. He's not going to try to resolve it. He's not even going to try to give an unbiased view of it. And he's not even going to try to adjust or address or say anything about anything that might lead someone to think this isn't an issue. And so he takes even the easiest things that can be addressed in Mormonism and refuses to address them. It is the most frustrating text I have ever read. And for someone who reads just an insane amount of books so that I can have a better context and understanding of the Restoration, obviously I am passionate about it. Obviously I love it. But come on. Even in a scholarly perspective, you can take a context and say, oh, well, here's this other viewpoint, or here's a potential, or Mormons see it as this. No, no, not here, not here. All he does is tee up issues and then throw you to the wolves and say, don't even look into it. It's not worth it. And trust me, because I'm a, I used to be a CES teacher, there's no resolve here. Oh, Oh, I have never been more upset with a book in my life because there are answers out there. There are questions. And yeah, there are times when it's like, I got to put a pin in that and kind of think through that. But don't come at people and say, I'm an expert. Here's the issue. And then just walk away and lead people to think that there's no sense in even looking or thinking for yourself pissed, pissed, never been more upset. If you have this book, throw it away. If you see this book, skip it. I've never wanted to burn a book more in my life. Like frustrating guys. Like I can read a lot of context. I can read a lot of criticism. I actually appreciate some of the anti-Mormon rhetoric at times. I appreciate it, but at least the rhetoric has backing to it. At least the rhetoric allows conversation to happen and critical thought to take place. But when you tee up issues from the Kinderhook plates to Joseph Smith as a revelator and translator, altering words, authorship of the Book of Mormon, things that actually like, honestly, your issue is easily resolved. There are more complicated discussions than the one presented here, but the easy ones he intentionally skips over. Frustrating. Oh, just... Oh, oh.
Sorry, guys. Like, just absolutely livid. Like, even, like, just on the back, over the past 30 years, an enormous amount of history. God Palmer suggests that most Mormons are unaware of the significance of these discoveries. But he entirely ignores every discovery that Mormon thought has had since each one of these issues come up. Right. Uh, rookie, rookie anti-Mormon book. Frustrating. Uh... I just can keep going on, man. Like, seriously, I flipped through this book and I just want to throw up. Come on, dude. You can do better than this. Seriously. There are a million anti-Mormon books that I respect more than this. Um, LDSBookReviews.com. Insider's View of Mormon Origins. Throw it away. Seriously. If you're looking for things to criticize the church on, there are even better resources than this. Come on. If someone comes to me with an argument out of this book, I'm going to just throw it back at them and say, you can do better. I'll give you more resources to do better than this book. Be better at it. Uh, again, LDSBookReviews.com. One star, zero stars. Book shouldn't even exist. Just It's frustrating that anyone even published this. Uh, with that, again, nothing against signature books. I actually have thoroughly enjoyed a lot of your work. Just really surprised that that 